Welcome, all of you. Thank you so much for coming back on this second day of GAF Kuwait. Um, we are very pleased to welcome the third musketeer to our band, Shimon Bassar, who's come in from London um, and is the director at large of uh, Global Art Forum. He's been doing it for forever. He just expands year <laughs> after year, which is why he's so large now. Um, we also want to congratulate Shimon for just publishing um, his hilarious, exceptional, brilliant, beautiful, multi-formatted, confusing book-ish called The Age of Earthquakes, which he, he, he wrote with Hans Ulrich Obrist and Douglas Copeland, which just came out last week. Two exceptional reviews. Ignore those. It's just a masterpiece. So, <laughs> so um, take it from us. Um, yesterday, we thought was a fabulous session. It was a fab fabulous day. I thought it was amazing. It was and fantastic. We, we, had, uh, we started with uh, Sleiman Askari, who is one of the most influential figures in the 20th century uh, cultural production here in, the, in Kuwait and in the Gulf. We it was, uh, in fact, the very first Arabic language session in GAF history. And I think that it was a fitting start to have Sleiman uh, kick it off. Uh, also, a very, very good way of framing quite how important Kuwait has been to uh, cultural production across the whole region. Um, and there was a lovely parallelism transition, perhaps, um, insofar as our first session was about cultural production in the Gulf. At its very, th at the very beginning, Suleiman al Askari was here for the first print, color printing press to come to Kuwait. And we ended with uh, the exceptional GCC collective that I adored, um, who we're bringing, we're bringing cultural production full circle by critiquing it and that being a form of production in its own right. So, in a sense, showing us all how healthy uh, that world is here. Um, and in between? We had a few sessions as well. So between the production and critique of culture, we had a few sessions from Christine uh, Khouri, from uh, Sabih Ahmad, from Manal and uh, May Dabbar, all of which, in one way or the other, were cataloging, documenting, archiving all this production that's been taking place in the region. Yeah, and, and, and also, of course, gest gesturing to this transition that um, that parallelism I was talking about speaks to. So um, of the, the whole process of digitizing archives is moving from one world to another. Um, and I very, very much hope that Manel's uh, picture of um, the traditionally dressed Saudi woman with a football on her head is going to replace Shakira at the Qatar World Cup as the emblem of, uh, of the future. Yeah. Um, just a couple of words about uh, this beautiful building uh, that we're in. Um, of course, it's a, it's a great honor to be here. This is one of the uh, most uh, monumental uh, structures in the Gulf, in Kuwait as well. I just noticed that there is a, a wonderful exhibition just around the corner behind us by a number of uh, brilliant Kuwaiti artists, including uh, Farah Bahbahani, Amira Bahbahani, Mohammed Al Kuh, uh, Ghad Al Kandari. So, if you haven't seen it, make sure that you go just just around the corner here behind us, and it'll be in the same building, and you can see some brilliant Kuwaiti video uh, painting illustration. So, um, you can only go it. during the break, though. We'll be monitoring you, um, <laughs> and. Uh, there will be a break halfway through. We've got a very long day today, which I hope will be as, as, as fascinating as yesterday. Um, one thing, um, download update. The Twitter hashtag today is GAF9. Um, and uh, you'll see there are some, some very some core tweeters out there. Um, yes, and you do, if you do use the hashtag, then Art Dubai will be able to, to uh, uh, you know, flag these pictures and share them. So we encourage you to use the hashtag as much as possible. 